in this lesson we will be studying inheritance uh, let's understand this concept by example uh, we all have some qualities inherited by our parents so parents are the parents and we are the child so this is the exact concept that we have a parent class or we have a base class and we have some classes called drive class or child classes so and many of the functions or attributes are being inherited from the parent class provided, provided that the child class has its own functions or attributes so uh, we have to, many types of inheritance there is a single level inheritance which uh, which tells us that a, uh, a drive class is being inherited from a single parent class multi-level inheritance tells us that it is inherited a drive class is being inherited from an immediate parent class which in turn inherits properties from its parent class so it is grandmother or grandfather so grandfather class then we have parent class and then we have child class so this is the multi-level inheritance so we have in hierarchical inheritance it has enabled more than one more than one drive classes to inherit properties from a parent class so we have a parent class dad and dad has two childs one is amna and one is umar so this is the hierarchical in, uh, inheritance and then we have a multiple level inheritance which will t tell us that these property uh, th this inherited class or this drive class is being inherited from two parent classes so one is from mother and one is from father so i hope you are getting this inheritance concept let's explain this and let's understand this with an example we have a parent class called person and it has its own methods and values or you can say that variables attributes and we have self dot name self dot id number these these are the details and when we we have a child class called employee which is inherited from person class so the employee class has its own uh, designations or it has own attributes which will uh, we will be using later on so at here we have been creating an employee uh, and we are passing four values and the a is called an object of employee class now if i am calling a dot display it will go towards this because here we have no display function so it will go towards this thing because uh, employee can uh, employee inherited from person and it can view its own its functions so a dot display no issues at all and we have a dot details and this function will be called enough so the, uh, we, we will study this uh, in polymorphism chapter that why these are being different but for the sake of here we can say that the uh, this uh, uh, function has been overridden by this function so let's take the output here we have a dot display a dot display calls that self dot name and self dot id number so we have rahul and this is the id number for rahul so now a dot details it will call this stuff my name is rahul id number it will print the id number and it will post uh, print the post which is in turn which is in turn so this is this is how inheritance work that we can access parent child attributes or functions uh, in our child class and we can modify our child class function as well to take the full usage of it and from then from this we can ensure the code usability we don't write to uh, we don't need to write code many times we just inherit the code or inherit the stuff from the parent class so please go through this so that you have a clear understanding.